Hey guys, well, welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop. My name is Steve, of course. Hopefully, I'm still your favorite engraver in the woods. And this is our video for that goes in conjunction with our Sunday evening blog. All right, well, as you guys recall, well over a month ago, I did a shout out to my CNC group, CNC enthusiasts, you guys who are running your shop at a professional level, even you guys running it at a hobbyist level. And I promised you that I would put out one month worth of free game uh, downloads for the templates uh, through vCarve Pro, through the particular CAD software we're, uh, we're running. Excuse me, there's not enough caffeine yet this morning. Uh, and the only thing I ask is if you guys could donate one of the games uh, to a charitable institution to help put a gift under a tree for a child this year, okay? And we, we did four different games. Uh, I'll discuss the fourth one with you here in just a second. We, we all know that, that there are families who have fallen on hard times. We all know that. Uh, a few of the guys have sent me a lot of thank yous for this package. It's not even about that for me. It's just, I'm just one guy and I'm trying to make a little bit of a difference this year for a little one, okay, so that they can in fact have something under their tree, okay? Awesome. Well, the fourth release that we decided to do was this here Mancala board, okay? People are going, where do you even find these, okay? Well, Mancala is a very old game, okay? I believe that it originated in Africa, Okay, it is played by the by the native individuals of Africa, and it's basically a game of strategy and counting. Again, I try to release games that would vary in age groups, but again, would also be easy for you guys to make. And every board that you see here was made out of scrap material out of this shop. Okay, let me grab my close to fifty glasses, and we'll we'll give you a little bit a uh, little bit more in detail about Moncala. Okay, it says here, Makala is a two-person game. The equipment involved, yeah, who am I kidding? The equipment involved is as simple as holes in the ground with stones to elaborate game boards with elaborate game pieces, okay? There are more than 800 names for traditional Mancala. Some of these names denote the exact same game and game set uh, of rules, okay? Now, the word Mancala literally means to move, okay? As I've told you guys before, the other three games that are up here, we did a Wahoo board, we did a dice board, and we did a Quantro board, okay? Quarto, I'm sorry, Quarto. Now, each one of these games are trademark games. However, we do not ever engrave a trademark name or copywritten name into an item. I gave you guys generic CAD files to build a generic board, okay, to avoid any trademark or copyright infringement. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get you guys in trouble, okay? But they're played under basically the rules. You know, the dice game, for instance, that one's gone by over a dozen different manufacturers under a dozen different names all using the exact same rules. Okay, well, in the case of Moncala, it tells you right here the word Moncala literally means to move and I haven't found Moncala where it is a, a copyright or a trademark game, okay? So if you chose to personalize yours, I think you'd be safe, but you may want to do a little investigation on your own, okay? Now, the game itself and the rules, well, we have done an attached video for you guys for the rules, okay? I didn't want to get into uh, tying the video up here any longer than I had to today. Some guys have also come back with uh, Steve. You know, you're making some great games, however, we don't own a CNC machine. Hey, not a problem. In the case of this board, okay, we gave you four samples. Again, you've got four different boards three of which I programmed to literally fit on a piece of 2 by 6 by 24 inch long uh, KD material, just kiln dried or, or whatever inch and a half thick piece you have, okay? Here's another one that we made, okay? This one's got odd round holes, this one has perfectly round holes. Well, this was also done in the CNC machine, but if you wanted to, you could basically draw a grid with a pencil on a piece of uh, 2 by 6 by 24 inch material 
You can use a spade bit and a cordless drill, and once you've got your grid laid out where everything goes, you can go back. And this is a one and a half inch spade bit. We've talked about spade bits making the holes in our log beds and stuff. Readily available at any hardware store. And pow! You can do your 12 holes that you need, six top and six bottom, and then your ends, well, you can maybe look for, uh, for a big Fostner bit or maybe one great big spade bit to drill out a bigger hole to ha hold your game pieces, okay? All right, just an idea, okay? And then the third, the third board that we gave you uh, set for a two by six was actually uh, a radius rectangle with 12 square holes. So you've got square, round, and arb round, okay? These literally mill in a matter of minutes. I was able to do all three of these in 20 to 30 minutes. With one bit, I used a quarter inch end mill. Now, the game pieces that are involved are very simple. All right? Now, mind you, with these boards, these are a little bit small, okay? But a lot of Mancala boards use these glass beads, okay? These can also do double duty. Uh, maybe for backgammon, maybe you want to make a uh, backgammon board, maybe you want to make a checkers board. Well, these are just different colored uh, glass, flat bottom glass beads. I don't know, maybe they're, they're drippings off of a glass blower. I don't know, but I got enough of these to fill a quart mason jar, which will be more than enough game pieces for a half a dozen boards, okay? Uh, I got these at the buck store. I got two bags, so for two dollars I've got a big jar full, okay, of game pieces for my Moncala board, okay? Now, because these are probably a little too big for these particular uh, pocketed slots, okay, you can also use, uh, these are just dried beans. I got these from the supermarket, big bag, less than a buck. You could pick out 48 beans because essentially you need uh, four game pieces per slot times 12 slot. You need 48 pieces. Well, there's hundreds and hundreds of beans in here, okay? You could use beans. Uh, maybe you want to make your board really rustic. You want to use a, 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 a tree limb or something. Either you, you buck it up yourself or you have a sawmill do it or wherever you get it from, okay? Well, to keep it rustic, maybe you could go to grandma and you could hit grandma up for some, some buttons. Uh, my grandmother used to have all kinds of buttons inside of old cookie tins. She'd save everything. Well, you could go out and get 48 buttons. That would keep it pretty rustic. Again, uh, the rules are very simple. I won't get into them. We attached a video to the blog, okay? Uh, we've sealed all of these different boards with a multitude of sealants as, as well as clear coats. I've used a sanding wood sealer on the Wahoo board, the pine board, as well as the oak board, okay? This pine board uh, that we milled just yesterday for, for the actual Wah uh I'm sorry, for the actual Moncala board, uh, I just used a thing of spray shellac, okay? I like shellac, it's quick, it's easy, it does the job, okay? But that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, these are the four boards that we produced for you guys. Uh, again, my subscribers, my followers, you guys rock. You're awesome. Thank you for sharing all these links. Again, in the description box down below, we will have the direct link to the download for this. The blog itself, we're gonna have, uh, it's going to have backlinks going to the website where you can download all this stuff. There's also cribbage boards. Personalized cribbage boards, military cribbage boards, uh, there are the big scene packages. All of this stuff is for you guys to download for free. My, my way of saying thank you for, uh, for putting up with me each week, okay? Well, again, my name is Steve, and as part of our Sunday evening blog, I want to thank you guys very much for, for tuning in and checking us out. And uh, Download, share, and enjoy, okay? You guys are awesome, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon. All right? Bye-bye, guys.